And in this week's episode of Know Your CEO, we get to interact with Dr. Catherine Ngahu, the group CEO of SBO Research Limited, a leading research company that does research for corporates and parastatals. Take a look. Ever want to know how a CEO sees her world? And here's how. Apart from running an organization and strategizing, their key role is to ensure there is money in the bank. Our CEO this week is Dr. Catherine Ngahu, the group CEO at SBO Research Limited. Dr. Catherine, thank you for creating time. In a nutshell, please tell us who Dr. Catherine is and what kind of business you're running. First, thank you so much for taking the time to come and talk to me. Switch TV, I'm great. I think I appreciate that a lot. Anytime. Um, in this business, the kind of business I run is SBO Research Group con has two businesses. It has SBO Research and SBO Training. Those are the two companies that make the group. Please expound a bit further. It is a, a uh, okay, we do services in the area of research, which is basically a consulting service, research and training and consulting. And uh, what we do is uh, work for corporates to help them gather information from their consumers to understand what their customers are thinking, their attitudes, their expectations around their products and services. And then we help them with advice about how to tap into that insight and develop better strategies, marketing strategies, to reach that client in a better way. 26 countries. Yes. You have penetrated 26 countries. Yes. What motivated you to move out of Kenya and venture to 25 others? When I started this business, I also joined a network, an Africa research network which was in many of the African countries. I'd also come from Wharton Business School in the US where I had met many people. So clients from other countries, actually most of the research we do outside those countries, in those countries, is requested by people in other countries, maybe in the US, in Europe, or other African countries, who tell us we want you to study five countries, six countries, and the like. I mean, who's the biggest client you have served outside Kenya? Most clients actually, you know, they are international clients, they are always going to be based in Kenya because Kenya is a regional hub, is a hub for international organizations. So even if we work for people like Google, they are in Kenya. If you work for um, organizations like, um, um, if you talk about Diageo, it's in Kenya through EABL. Yes. And I would say it's one of our largest outside Kenya, Diageo. Diageo. Yes. How did you know that research will pay? I knew, I used to tell my students uh -huh. that research is a money maker. But I actually didn't say that. I used to say consumer behavior knowledge is a, is money, a money maker. maker. I was teaching them consumer behavior and I wanted them to believe in it. What was your golden research project? Okay, one of the most interesting research projects, mm -hmm. I say it's interesting because it was unusual. Where the client uh, told us to go to the informal settlement, actually it was Safaricom who told us to go to the informal settlement and uh, find out about the lifestyle, the activities and opinions that people hold. It was not related to any of their services. It looked at how people live, what they do with their lives, how they have their breakfast, their lunch, their entertainment and stuff like that. It was interesting. That's the one that you remember most? It's the one I remember most. Do you need any capital to start SBO? Let me say, I started with intellectual capital. I needed intellectual capital. One of the beliefs I have about business, yes. if you're starting a business like in services, many times it's not money that you need. You need uh, two things, in my view. You need know-how and you need know-who. If you have those two, you can find the rest. Well. Wow. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Dr. Ngahu. The next thing that we are going to do is quick fire. We yes. get to know Dr. Ngahu. Away from the serious CEO, mm -hmm. what does she do out of the office? Yes. Dr. Ngahu, this is quick fire. Thank you. Dr. Ngahu, among the 26 countries that you operate in, which is your favorite? My favorite country is Kenya. What time do you wake I, up in the morning? I wake up around 6. And uh, I start by doing praise and worship in the morning. And Alone. I do some exercise. Or with family? I do with family. When they are willing to join, I do... Um, then I listen to Joel Austin or T.D. Jakes, uh -huh. someone around... Uh, he comes around 
If someone told you, Dr. Ngahu, take me to Kanairo, where would you take them? Kanairo? I have no idea where that is. <laughs> where exactly is that? Nairobi. Oh my goodness, that it's, is shame for real. Shame. Eh? The it's new shame. shame where they keep locking us out because they keep changing the names. <laughs> yeah. What's your dream car? My dream car now is a GLE, Mercedes GLE. How soon do you think you're going to take Very the soon. GLE? Very soon. Yes. The next interview. Because I want it. The because once you want something, somehow things start to work, to, to harmonize, to deliver it to you. What's the most fantastic destination? One of the most uh, memorable destinations is actually going to Austria to go to Salzburg to go to the bus tour where this movie Sound of Music was made. Dr. Ngahu, today there is a girl watching, mm -hmm. a girl from Moranga, an agricultural area, yes. who wants to run a successful business like yours and drive a nice Mercedes like yours. Yes. What advice do you have for her? Don't compare yourself with others. You are beautifully and wonderfully made. Just work on yourself. Dr. Ngahu, that's, that's your camera. I want you to sign out. Tell the audience the conversation on Know Your CEO mm -hmm. continues next Monday. The conversation, the conversation on Know Your CEO continues next Monday. <laughs> Many thanks for watching. Thank you, Dr. Ngahu. Thank you. <laughs>